The right focus. It can be the difference between confusion and clarity on any subject. Do you ever feel it's the same with our community's misconception about agriculture? That somewhere along the line, that viewpoint of what the farmer and rancher does on a day-to-day -day basis got a little blurred, a little out of focus. It's all over social media these days and media in general. And that is the misconception about what we do within our industry. And with just a little bit of clarity, we can help bring focus to those blurred lines. It's just like these two eggs. Both are great, I'd feed them to my family. But it reminds me of one time where I was in San Jose, California, shopping for the day, and I ran into a woman with a young toddler who was selecting some eggs. Now I noticed that she was reaching for the brown eggs, and I looked down at the price, and she was paying over three times as much for a standard brown egg as you would for a white one. Now, being the former ag teacher that I am, I had to stop and ask her and say, excuse me ma'am, why are you paying that much more for a brown egg? And she replied, I'd rather have them not bleached. Well, we started having a conversation about the egg industry and how the type of chicken determines the color of the egg. And at the end of her conversation, you could tell she was thinking about it, and as I walked away, I saw her reach down for the white eggs. Now, nothing's wrong with eggs from Rhode Island Reds at all. I love them, that's what I grew up on. But the problem was her perception of the differences between the two was causing her money simply to try to provide what was best for her child, even though there really was no difference between the two. If we don't communicate to the public about what we do as farmers and ranchers. The public will learn about it through Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. And I'm not sure that's the message that we want our consumers hearing. So with that mental picture in mind, we are not going to go into any technicals today. We're not going to go over what camera gear to use. We're not going to go over editing or anything like that. We will in the future, but today, we're going to focus, that's right, on focus. You might be a wheat farmer, and wheat is what you grow. But what are you passionate about when it comes to farming wheat? You might be a cattle producer, and you produce a great beef product. But what are you passionate about? Is it your connection with the land, with your cattle? Is it carrying on a family tradition and having that family lifestyle together. There's a story there. And once you can focus on what you are passionate about, if you could tell your community, your consumer, just one thing, what would that be? Once you have that answered, you have your story. In the viewpoint of an image, this subject line, this story, it's called the focal point. Now a focal point is a star of a picture. It's the main subject that the eye should be drawn to immediately in a picture. This can be done through a variety of ways, and we're going to cover some of these in later tutorials. But today, let's just focus on telling your story through focusing on what is important. And this starts even before you pick up the camera. Why do we take pictures? Well, it's because we were moved to. We saw something interesting that drew our eye that we want to take a picture of. Now, before you take up your camera, ask yourself, what is the most important thing in this picture? Once you've identified that, there's some things that we can do from there. The next thing you want to do is avoid any distractions in the background. These could be things like old machinery, fences, power lines, or even a tree that mysteriously is growing out of the back of someone's head because it's right behind them. All of these background distractions take attention away from the viewer on what really matters. It goes back to that clarity. So let's look at some examples. I absolutely love the personality of this prairie house. And when I see structures like this, 
I started thinking about all the history that had to have happened in these houses. The family stories, the joys, the hardships, everything that included life on the early plains. I wanted to give this building a sense of place within the wheat fields, to bring back a sense of nostalgia. There is one problem though. In the distance, right behind this building, you can see several large power poles and windmills that would have ruined the composition. So, what did I do? Well, it was pretty simple. I chose a low camera angle to eliminate the distracting backgrounds. I literally knelt in these wheat fields and lowered my camera to the point where the building was now eclipsing and totally getting rid of any of the distracting background elements. And now you have a simple image where the star subject is really the only thing your eye goes to and there aren't any distracting background elements. In this photograph I did for California Country Magazine, I almost messed up the shot pretty severely. The assignment dealt with a ranching family's desire to maintain a healthy grassland and ecosystem on their ranch for the native wildlife as well as their cattle. This family put so much thought into the health of their ranch, I really wanted to show a contemplative, intellectual approach to this. As I was taking these photos, I realized that I had the subject's head lost in a series of coastal oak trees just to the left of him. And these trees were really distracting and were really taking away from the lines on his cowboy hat. And he was really getting lost in the background and not becoming the star of the photo that I wanted. So I asked him and his horse to just take about 10 steps forward. This way he was framed by the trees, not really within them and these branches weren't coming out of his head. Sometimes creating a great focal point just requires you to get a little closer. While on assignment in Ethiopia, I came across a school teacher that had a smile that just lit up the entire schoolyard. She started laughing and smiling whenever I point my camera in her direction. She just couldn't believe she was that interesting for someone from America to take a picture of. However, there were tons of distractions and backgrounds that really took away from the expressions that she was giving me. So there's an easy way to fix this. I just zoomed in a lot closer to get rid of these extra background objects and distractions. Let's take a look at the difference and what that did. So you can see now that the distractions have disappeared and the focus is really on this infectious smile. So once again, another way of eliminating background objects that might be distracting is just a simple zooming in or walking in a little closer. So in review, think through what is the main subject before you even pick up your camera. Once you've answered that, isolate the subject matter from the background and remove any distracting background elements. Then enjoy. But also importantly, let's share these pictures. Share them on Facebook and Twitter with the hashtag AgIsBeautiful. Because if you're not telling your story, no one else will do it for you.